As the bustle of Yangon City winds down at the end of the day, people stream to the riverside to commute, to feed the seagulls, and to soak in the last bit of light before sunset. And when the sun rises and a new day starts, a reminder has arrived overnight. Another cargo ship from Myanmar's main trading partner, China. Also a reminder of the dependence on its huge neighbor to the north. Something leaders here hoped would lessen when economic sanctions began to soften eight years ago. But with mounting international criticism and pressure over the Rohingya crisis, the nation seems to be turning its focus away from new partners in the West. I think given uh, you know, the justified anger on the part of the international community and the UN, um, in, instead of, of uh, handling that criticism and dealing with the crisis in Rakhine in a professional, political and moral manner, uh, the government just decided we'll just go back to the Chinese. This new factory on the outskirts of Yangon supplies Myanmar rubber to tire manufacturers up in China. It's about 70% of their business. They want to expand to the West. But this deepening rift between Western nations and the government here might force companies like this and the nation to remain reliant on trade with China. Myanmar drew harsh comments from the U.S. last week when it announced the government would buy six advanced Su-30 fighter jets from Russia. And they were... Kin Zawin was a political prisoner during military rule. He says the timing of the fighter deal and closer military ties with Russia are related to the Rohingya crisis. After what happened in Rakhine and the, and the discussions at UN Security Council, China and Russia flatly said that they would support Myanmar. So this is something that the Myanmar military especially knows that it can count on. Analyst David Matheson feels that even though the two nations are providing for Myanmar now investments and defense assistance, there's a long-term problem. They do need Western donors because the Chinese and the Russians aren't going to provide health and education initiatives. They want to sell weapons and they want to ex extract natural resources. Right now, most of the people of Myanmar are not aware of any negative impact that the Rohingya crisis might bring. But some think that there will be a cost if there's further distancing from the international community, and that could impede the progress of reform after years of isolation. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Yangon.